The man says we got eight to 10 inches. I don't know if it's eight to 10 inches of snow, but boy, it's a lot. And we are still having Marathon Mondays with Matt live in the snow. Now, if I can hit John with a snowball. Oh, this is pretty powdery, John. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Anyway, everybody, it's cold. It's about 28 degrees. And I'm glad you're joining me. I've got family watching down in Manzanita, Oregon. So hope they are safe and, and warm. My family is watching <laughs> at home and John and I are out here in the snow. Uh, as you can see, it is uh, quite impactful. Us Oregonians aren't used to this much snow, but we got it. And uh, I know the kids are out there enjoying it. We're gonna go inside and look at an awesome remodel story. And uh, let's get in there and get out of this and show you what we got in store for you. All right, John, don't slip. I say that and watch me fall. All right. So hope everyone had a good Christmas. Hope everyone is being safe and taking care of themselves. Uh, I know that I enjoyed being with family, and uh, for those who I was not with, I missed you. But here we are on the production floor, and we are building coaches even though there's 10 inches of snow. Now, we're going to show you Coach 1127. This is an interesting remodel. Normally, and I mean 99% of the time when we see a remodel, let's go inside here, John, and just get inside the cockpit. Normally when we do a remodel, it's all about someone just bought a coach. This story is a little bit different. This story is a little bit different. These people have owned this coach since 2008 and they are going to do a massive remodel. And so I'm excited to show it to you. They, as you can see, the floor is completely torn out. It's down to the plywood. Here's kind of an overview of what we're gonna do on 1127. And the beauty of that is this chassis is designed, as you guys know, to run for decades, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The Prevo chassis is the best RV platform out there. Now this coach is going to get a huge upgrade, and I mean huge. This is about as big as I can ever remember in my time here at Marathon. Here's what it is from the front back. Complete audiovisual upgrades. Audiovisual completely throughout the coach. New upholstery on sofa, on dinette, on chairs, uh, new flooring. The seat the panels on the ceiling are going to be all rewrapped. New valances and styles here and here. Countertops are getting completely uh, cleaned and polished. Cabinetry will stay the same. John, I'm gonna switch spots with you here. F a fidget spinner, remember this? Remember this from what? For those of you out there, tell me what was this, five years ago, six years ago? Fidget spinners? Okay. Good times. Good times, new refrigerator. New microwave oven, okay? Complete remodel in here. Look at this, bunks. Everybody loves a bunk coach, right? These bunks are going away. Sorry about that, but they are. The owners who have owned this coach since 2008 are gonna do an awesome pantry and wine cooler system in this, make it a big old pantry closet. I'm really excited to see what our guys are gonna do from an engineering and design and installation standpoint. That's gonna be really cool. Okay, um, and we don't really, oh, oh backsplashes. All of the, all of the uh, water closets, and here we are in the water closet. Uh, we're gonna get all new backsplashes in here, all new backsplashes, audio visual back here. It's gonna be a massive, uh, remodel, a reimagining inside Coach 1127. So, you know, it takes a it takes a leap of faith for people to just say, "We're going to do it," uh, and they are doing it. They've owned this coach for a long time, 
and they're going to reimagine it for themselves and update it completely. Instead of going out there and buying another coach, they love the coach so much. They know it's got good bones because they've maintained it so well. So why not remodel it and uh, rethink how it should be? And that's exactly what they're doing. So I'm going to be excited. It's a long-term project. As you guys know, it takes a long time uh, to build a coach. So it takes a long time to remodel a coach. John, let's head back out and we'll, uh, we'll walk the production floor a little bit there and just kind of see... Um, I hate to see bunks go away. Everybody loves bunks. But all of the upholstery, eat from, from the floor to the ceiling, audio visual. Oh, the lighting in here, all new lighting, new rope lights around all of the accent lighting. Um, so it's just going to be completely different. And of course, I'm giving you the Cliff Notes for those of you who remember Cliff Notes. I'm giving you the Cliff Notes version of uh, exactly what that remodel is going to be. But when we get into it, it's going to be uh, quite, quite lengthy. All right, John. There's Coach 1353 nearing completion. There's Coach 1352 over there. Also, that's in audit right now. So that's pretty exciting. And here is a new shell, Coach 1366. This is one that we will follow throughout um, production, Coach 1366. Now, I'm going to go on the record. Somebody write this down because we're going to go on record. 1366 is going to have one of the most amazing paint jobs. You guys, 1366 paint job is going to be one of the most aggressive and dynamic custom paint jobs we've ever done. Wait till you see it. It, uh, it took a long time for the, the uh, family that is custom ordering it uh, with Sarah in our marketing team to put it together, but it's gonna be amazing. And it's very personal to them, so I'm really excited for them to see it. Now take a look at this. Let me know what you think of this guy. Another custom paint job. I always said it looked like a black octopus swallowing a white coach. But I, it's just, it shows, and you can't really see, until you get up on it, it's got texturing. Take a look right here, John. Look at the texturing that's in this area. John's got the light on, so he'll be able to show it to you. This is an amazing coach. It's got the blacked out package. So it's got a, I don't necessarily want to say flat, but it's like a satin finish. Isn't that great? And we're not going to go inside. And the reason we're not going to go inside and show it to you is because it's very personal to the family that custom ordered this. Um, and they haven't seen it yet. And so we don't want to spoil that surprise, but I know they've seen the exterior uh, and it's got the, uh, the cracked glass marathon logo on it that we've seen on a few coaches. I hear Rod Stewart playing in the background, John. I know we're not supposed to talk about the music, but let's go out this door right here. We got a new puppy over the last couple of months and sometimes he looks like Rod Stewart uh, from the 80s. For those of you who remember that album, Blondes Have More Fun, look at the backside of Blondes Have More Fun. That's what my dog's hair looks like. Here we are in the front. That's the beauty of Marathon Mondays, John. We just talk about anything from my dog's hair to Rod Stewart to these amazing shells. It's kind of cool to see, John and I were talking about this before we went live. It's cool to see all these coaches with the, paint, uh, with the snow on them, but there's two H3 shells set to go into paint probably in the next two to three weeks, but uh, parking them on the front lines during the Christmas uh, weekend uh, is kind of a cool thing that uh, our guys did here. But anyway, as you can see, uh, deep in the snow here at the mothership, uh, thanks to all of you for watching. Uh, thanks for being safe. I'm looking forward to the new year. I'm looking forward to getting down to Indio and showing uh, the latest from Marathon down there. Uh, other than that, to my family that's watching, whether you're in Manzanita or at home, be safe and thank you for supporting me and uh, thank you for supporting our show. 
be yourself and do good things. That's how I'm trying to live my life. And, uh, uh, you know, get out in the snow and make a snowman. Take care, everybody. See you next Monday.